Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a chart using Microsoft Excel like this one. Okay, let's get started. Now, I decided to make this quick how-to video because I'm in the middle of editing an awesome how to build your first computer video. It's going to include every single step of the process, so I just can't wait to post that for you guys. Anyways, I needed a really nice chart to showcase the video card options for a budget gaming PC in that new video I'm doing. So let's get started. I'm going to show you how easy it is to create the chart in Excel. So first, we need to create an Excel spreadsheet and fill it with all the data that we want to chart. So let me do that real quick. That was easy. Okay, now I'm going to make some simple formatting tweaks to my data by telling Excel what type of data I actually have. So let's start with my video card cost data. First, I'll highlight the data to be formatted. Then I'll right click my mouse and select Format Cells. Then I'll pick Currency and I will remove the decimal values and click OK. So I just formatted that data right there. Now I'm going to do something similar, but with the pass mark scores data. I basically want to insert commas to identify thousands better. So I'll select all the data, right click my mouse, format cells, number, and I will remove the decimal values select this option for commas and okay so now my data is formatted the way i like it and now i'm going to select the area i want to chart by left clicking on my mouse and holding until i drag the selection box to the ending point of my data and then releasing the mouse button so now click on the insert tab up top and to the right, you will see all the different chart options you have to play with. If we expand this and hover over the chart types, you'll see what kind of charts these options will create, which is really cool. And because this is Microsoft, you have an infinite amount of ways you can customize these charts. I mean, it really does seem like infinite. Let's click on recommended charts. Now here you could also scroll through all the different chart types, okay? And then if you click all charts, now you have a lot more options. Let's say you want a pie chart. So you could select the type of pie chart. And if you hover over the pie chart, it will expand it for you. So let's pick this one, hover over it. It gives you a little representation of what that's going to look like. But what I'm looking for is either like a column. Let me see. This is kind of nice because everything has its own line, which is really cool with this chart. So that's one option. But you know what? I kind of want to have a chart going the other way. So I think that's a bar chart. So let's see. Wow, look at that. So there's a couple ways to go with this. Oh, this chart's pretty cool right here. Okay, I'm going to pick this one. So I'll just click on that and click OK. So here it is. I mean, as you can see, this is very easy to do. And let's say you want to make it bigger, just simply drag the points out and you have a bigger chart. And here is where you could just keep on customizing. You could change the title of this chart. Just double click on here. And I'm just going to type in budget gaming video cards. Okay. Let me expand this. There we go. So let's click here. You could have access titles. So you see how I added that? We could put another title there. We could call that video cards, but we actually don't need that. Now this is cool because data labels actually throws in the values from your charts into the chart. 
All the cards I chose do have two gigabytes of memory, so that's not really a, an important metric. But the pass mark score is, as well as the price. But anyways, let's get back to the chart. So we could change the coloring, like look at this. This is awesome right here, isn't it? So there's so many ways we could customize this chart. Okay, let's say I want to move where these labels are. For me, these are a little too close to the graphic. Okay, so let me move it. There we go. And you see right here, this option, clone current label. Let me click on that. Boom. You see that? All the user benchmarks are now easy to see. Now I'm going to do the same for the price. So let me move that out right there. Clone current label. Okay, that looks awesome. And let's do that for the memory too. So let's move that right there. Clone. Boom. Now we have all the numbers clear and visible. It's really easy to see right now. But really guys, I'm just scratching the surface of what you can do with uh, Excel and charts. I mean, there's so many ways to customize this. I'm actually new to this, but I'm really surprised how easy it is. So just remember, you create your table with all your information, all your data, then you go to insert, and then you click on chart. Well, I guess that's pretty much it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget about my upcoming video, how to build your very first computer. It's gonna be a killer video, especially for those who actually wanna build one. I swear to God, you could order the parts that I'll have in the video description and build it yourself with me. It's gonna be that thorough. So I'm really excited about that video, even though it is a huge pain to edit that video. It's just like a mini movie, really, with 120 minutes of footage. But anyways, thanks for watching. Check out these three videos right here. If you want to see something else on my channel, go ahead and visit my channel. And if you like doing stuff yourself, make sure you click the subscribe button right now. And don't forget to comment. That's the only way I get to talk with you guys. And I guess I'll catch you on the next one.